Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to another a mini acrylic landscape painting episode. This one is going to be super quick and super easy. I'm going to show you my color palette. There's some blue on there, a little bit of earthy tones with some yellow, some greens and some umber. And then at the end we have some white and some rose and we have a little bit of blending medium as well. And uh, what we're going to be painting today is just a couple of rolling hills and uh, it's going to be super easy. I tried to make this one as simple and easy as I possibly could. And our goal for today is to uh, create a little bit of distance using color or the illusion of distance, I should say. So um, we're going to be focusing on that. Starting off, I dropped in a little bit of bluish purple at the top, just a mixture of mostly blue and a little bit of rose. And then towards the bottom, we add a little bit more cool blue and some white towards the bottom here to create these fluffy little clouds and a little bit of blue tones in there too. And I'm just using one brush for now. And I'm, uh, I figured these clouds could be a little bit bigger. Now I dip that same brush without cleaning it into a little bit of white, just pure white. And I'm just smudging some on with the very edge tip of the brush. And that creates these, uh, these blobs of white. And then I grab a dry brush, a clean dry brush. And I smudge that up a little bit, fluff it up. Uh, that creates kind of like this gradient effect where these clouds are going to be looking soft. And then here, a little bit below the, the old cloud, we're going to put in another cloud, a new one. Same technique, just a little bit of white on the edge of the brush, followed up by a clean dry brush to fluff it up a little bit. And already we can see a little bit of uh, illusion of distance here with, uh, in the range of the clouds. Now I've dipped that same old brush into some blue and some rose to create this purple color. And just with a couple strokes, kind of diagonally, mostly horizontal, I'm just blocking in one rolling hill at a time. And every time I add a new roll, I dip my brush into a little bit of rose. And here towards the foreground, I'm going to be dipping it into a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow. So every time I make a new hill, I make sure I change the color a little bit into something that's a little bit more green or a little bit more yellow. And that those are warmer colors. And if we combine the two, the cold blue purpley hues in the back, and then slowly adding more green and yellow as we layer towards the foreground, it's going to create this illusion of distance that whatever is greener and more yellow is going to jump out towards the front and whatever is a little bit more purple and blue is going to be pushed back towards the background. And that's how you create the illusion of distance. It's that easy. It's super fun and easy to do. All you got to do is think about your coloring a little bit. And then before you know it, you've created yourself this vast landscape um, that's rolling all the way towards the background. It's super fun and easy to do. Uh, I'm just going to touch up this foreground layer with a bit of yellow here. And then as a final touch, I'm just grabbing a little bit of white to put my signature down at the bottom. Hope you enjoyed this super fun, easy, quick video of this acrylic painting. Hope you try it at home. I definitely recommend it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like and a comment to help me out, support the channel. And uh, we will catch you on the next episode, everybody. Hope you have an awesome day. See you later.